Perpetual Treasuries Limited had increased its bond holdings at primary auctions after a fully auctioned system was adopted to raise funds. This was revealed at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry today. Sufik Farzan reports on Bondgate. Arjuna Mahindran, the former governor of the central bank, said it was he who took a decision to suspend direct placements. He said he made the decision when he went to the public debt department during the controversial bond auction. Mahendran said he had discussed the matter with Prime Minister Ronil Wickremesinghe that very week. However, as the decision to suspend direct placements had not been conveyed to the monetary board until the 6th of March 2015, Justice Prasanna Jayawardena suggested to Mahendran if he had the Prime Minister's instructions to do so, he would have mentioned it. The Justice noted the monetary board minutes do not show any decision on suspending direct placements. Arjuna Mahendran agreed under the Monetary Law Act, there is no provision for the subject minister to give any direction to the central bank. The AGES department said Mahendran's purpose of removing the 5% penal rate in the morning of the 27th of February 2015 was to mask the impact of the impugned bond auction. Mahendran claimed to be in the possession of a confidential IMF report where undetected areas of around 1.2 trillion rupees due for the year 2015 had been identified. However, the Commission said this cannot be taken into consideration for the borrowing requirement of February and March 2015 as the report was given later. Senior State Council Shahid Abari pointed out that the majority share in a primary auction in 2014 was with the state institutions such as the EPF, the Bank of Ceylon and the National Savings Bank whereas the share at primary auctions by Perpetual Treasuries Limited and PABC were considerably very very minimal. However she went on to note that after the shift from a hybrid system to a completely auction based system the shareholding of state institutions in primary auctions had dropped gradually while PTL and PABC made gains and thereafter in 2016 the state institutions shareholding in primary auctions dropped even further while PTL and PABC made further gains. Senior State Council Shahid Abari said at the auction on the 27th of February 2015 PTL had engaged in a gamble. She pointed out of the 20 billion rupees bids placed at the auction 15 billion rupees were placed by PTL. The remaining 5 billion rupees comprises of a 2 billion rupee bid from the EPF, 1.25 billion rupee bid by Ceylon Bank and the remainder from other primary dealers. This counters Arjuna Mahendran's claim there was an appetite for a 30-year bond in the primary market. It was revealed at the auction dated the 24th of March 2016, the state banks had placed their bids at favourable market rates, creating a competition in the auction. However, those bids had been rejected and according to Mahendran, it was because some of the bids were at a very high premium. The AGES department said as state banks were asked to bid low at the 29th and 31st March 2016 auctions, Perpetual Treasuries had a monopoly in the bond market. Mahendran said he was not aware of any meeting state banks had with then Finance Minister Ravi Karunanayake and he got to know about it through the press.